Oh, wait. Oh, she's about to move right now. <laughs> Stay, Stay. 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 There you go. Now are you? I was like, where are you? Can everybody hear me okay? All right, we'll go ahead and open up some questions. Please raise your hand and I'll call on you. John, can you hear us okay? Yep, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Miles, you can go ahead and ask the first question. Hi, uh, hi Alyssa. Hi, Natisha. Good to talk to you both. Uh, my first question was about that sky, the sky's bench who shot 12 of 18 in game one, but the second unit, your second unit also forced nine turnovers. So how can you balance bringing energy off the bench and being aggressive while also making sure they aren't getting open looks? Um, I, I think in general, um, our, our defense needed to be better top to bottom. Um, doesn't matter bench starters. Um, we know we, we need to come in and and lock in on everybody and, and execute our, our game plan better. And um, as far as our, our second unit coming in, I mean, that, that's part of the job. It, it's about coming in, bringing energy. And, um, you know, the way we, we started last game wasn't good. And um, that, that's just, like I said, part of the role about bringing energy and, and picking up the tempo. Thanks so much. And to follow up on the tempo, after, running a methodical pace that ranked last in the W this year where you really controlled every game. This first game of the playoffs has you ranked at fourth. What are some ways you can reclaim that tempo and slow Chicago's offense down so that you can get your own defense set and bother their rhythm on offense? Um, like I said, um, it just comes with us playing the way that we played all season. Um, we know that Chicago um, thrives on, on transition. Um, I think last game we, we took a lot of tough early shots in, in the shot clock, which led to their transition. So um, it's just about us playing a balance and um, it all starts on the defensive end for us. Um, when we're able to, to get stops, we can play the way we want to play. Thanks so much. Good luck to you both tonight. John, you can go ahead. Please, just on mute, you're on mute. There we go, sorry about that. So uh, for either player or both, with having the league's best record and the number one seed, the MVP, the coach of the year, does that put any extra pressure on you or does it not matter? Uh, I think that we're just trying to be ourselves no matter, like, playoff game, regular game. We're just going in, trying to be ourselves, and uh, there's really no pressure. We've been prepared and practicing for this all year, so we're just ready for the moment. And uh, one last question for Natisha. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your recent engagement and your clothing line. A lot of big news for you. And in, um, in the Chicago, if, when you guys come back to Chicago, you, are you going to have a big uh, Natisha uh, contingent from Wisconsin? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, my family's really close, so a lot of my family members and friends will be there, yes. Good luck. Thank you. Michelle? Yeah, this is Michelle Vogel from ESPN.com. Alyssa, this is for you. Can you um, sort of put in perspective the growth you've seen from John Quell as a post player, both offensively and defensively? I know you probably knew her when she was even younger um, um, in the in the D.C. area when you were playing at Maryland. Um, so you've sort of seen that growth. Um, can, can you put that in perspective, getting all the way to MVP status? I mean, yeah, um, like you said, um, you know, she showed me a picture a few years ago um, when we were, it was all American and, you know, we were the same height and then, you know, coming, coming into the league, you know, she, she hit that, that huge growth spurt. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just super proud of her. Um, I think each and every year she's just continued to, to work on her game offensively, defensively, and it's just never, never been satisfied, um, you know. I think overseas she's gotten better. And then each year that she, she comes into this league, she proves why she deserved the MVP. And uh, Natisha, can you kind of address, um, you guys talked about this after the game um, the other night, trying to make things a little harder on Sloot. 
um, which is easier said than done. She She's such a good point guard. But what are ways sort of from a team defensive standpoint, as good as you guys are on that, that you can kind of try to disrupt her a little more? Uh, yeah, she's a great player. So, you know, we're just uh, giving her a little bit more attention and just trying to pressure her, make things hard, harder for her. Thank you. Appreciate it. Charlotte? Hey, Lizetta, follow up actually on Michelle's question, excuse me. What is the growth you've seen from John Quell just from the year that she missed um, and just how she came back a little bit differently this season after having to sit out or opting out last year? Um, I mean, it's, it's despite her not being with us last season, she she's continued to work on her game. I mean, you know, we, we play each other overseas, so I'm, I'm able to see how she's working each and every day. But um, I would say just her confidence. Um, she, she knows when she steps on the court, she is the best player each and every night. And um, I, I think at times, um, you know, we need her to be even more assertive. So I'm just proud of her, her growth that she's done on the court, but even as far as a leader and, and how she conduct, conducts herself on and off the court. You say you want her to be more assertive or you guys sometimes need her to be more. Where, what areas would you like that? Um, you know, defense and offense. Um, you know, I, I think at times um, we need her just to, to go in, in takeover mode. And um, I mean, I, that comes with time. Um, but, you know, it's playoff time and this is the time for her to play even, even harder than she's played this whole regular season. So um, I'm excited for us to get out there tonight and, and just get after it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That concludes Media Avail this morning. Thank you. <laughs>